Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Whims Legacy, here in our niche random genetic survival challenge. And I am pretty nervous now. I am actually really starting to feel a little bit of a pinch of this challenge. We were very, very spoiled last time with water body all over the place, and our wonderful Gotai Li being a really considerate leader who was pretty kind to his tribe, and also was able to have six 16 members in the tribe at a time and well everything has now changed with the arrival of the newly renamed Zachi and Zachi my friends is a restless reckless and forceful young Nishling who is currently the leader of our tribe and as long as he is alive and as long as he is the leader I mean if we wanted to we could make him like eat a cactus or something if we got really desperate but as long as he is alive we are only allowed to have five Nishlings in the tribe only five and that's a big challenge especially because he is a male and we need to keep some females that are unrelated to us in the tribe and right now we only have have Chris here, who is the only female who is not related to us. Uh, his mother, Anakosi, is right over here. Zachi's mother, Anakosi, is here. His brother, Banku, is still with us to help us gather up food, if nothing less. But Zachi is actually pretty aggressive towards other males because he is very reckless and might possibly chase his brother away pretty soon, depending. And we just had the birth of little baby Mila. And the little baby Mila here is unfortunately a blind nicheling. And I think that has kind of sealed her fate and actually her mother Anakosi's fate at remaining in the tribe. So I think that our restless, reckless Zachi here wants to really hoof it and get out of here. And he's starting to feel that restless urge, even though he is still a juvenile, so he can't really tear out of the place just yet. But I think as long as we have him, we're probably going to keep moving and he's going to be a little bit forceful at keeping Chris with him, but maybe even forceful enough to chase his brother Vanku, who is going to get that leech out of the way, uh, away at some point. So I think that might happen. And I think that Zachi is also very frustrated with the fact that he actually struggles quite a bit with having the fishing expertise that his father did, because I felt fantastic to be a shark swimming through these waters, claiming entire schools of fish with one swipe of our claws and we have actually torn through our food we have torn through more than half of the food that we had uh, back when we first started like working with all of these nichelings and now we're down to a much smaller amount of food oh look it's Tatukvan hi buddy but we're down to a dwindling amount of food and so I feel like Reckless Zachi maybe doesn't really care about the food aspect of things but does care about following up on his restlessness and traveling and he's pretty forceful so he might keep the only females in the area with him uh, but maybe chase his mother away. I do actually think that he would chase his mother uh, or at least Anakosi might refuse to go with him. Well, we'll say that instead of like he chases his mom away. So I think that's that's actually what is going to happen and Chris may or may not remain Zachi's mate but I think that we're actually going to give him the ability to have better fishing skill. Uh, I, I kind of want to leave the nimble fingers on him and give him fishing tail instead so he can have higher fishing skill without sacrificing the ability to eat clams because I do think it's useful to be able to eat clams and it's probably pretty useful to be able to eat worms in a pinch with that platypus beak so we'll have to see. But this is going to be interesting because we just went from a big happy family playing in tide pools to kind of like a very dominating leader who kind of wants to have like a little collection of like two or three females and sort of see his family grow, but also keep moving. And if you can't keep up, you get left behind. So let's see where things are going to go from here. Okay, he's old enough that we can actually have him release his mom. All right. I'm going to have Anakosi. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's a rogue male. Um, No. <laughs> Heck no! We're not doing this nonsense! Oh no! Anakosi! I just made her mate with him! I didn't realize she had literally no way of defending herself! And I just made her mate with him! Oh, this is this is a travesty. Oh, curses. Alright, well, little baby Mila is still here. Uh, and I think that Zachi would just, like, not have any of this nonsense. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say that baby Mila 
who is blind, is headed out with her mom, Anakosi, and Anakosi is now going to be chased away. As much as I hate to do that, but we're gonna we're we're gonna say that she had a fight with Zachi. So instead of Zachi coming up and chasing his mom away, we'll say that Anakosi finding herself unexpectedly pregnant and in charge of a blind baby girl who can at least eat from this tree will refuse to leave this tree. That's what we'll say. She refuses to leave this area, and Zachi's like, "I'm old enough now. Let's go. We're gonna do some adventuring." And his mom refused. So it's just down to. Zachi and Chris and his brother Vonku. So let's get Vonku over here. There's lots of Razorina and unfortunately none of them are strong enough to eat them. All right, and Mila is now old enough to go ahead and leave behind you. So we're going to say, we're gonna say that it's the family kind of splitting up because there was a big fight between all of them. And Chris, you know, you don't want to be alone in the world. And Chris is like, you know, there's there's clear knowledge. Hi, Anakosi. Oh my gosh, it's so cool to see you from the side like this. <laughs> but Chris knows that there's other nichelings like out in the world, but they might be hard to find. And there was that rogue male and well, you know, one thing comes to another and why not stick with Zachi? And Zachi wants to get out of here. So let's get them moving first. I think Zachi is very frustrated, angrily nibbling these worms, frustrated that uh, he cannot actually, he cannot catch these Razorina. So he wants to have strong, powerful children who can catch those fish. So let's give him fishing tail. That will be the trait that we get to pick for him. However, the Nishling gods, ooh, Ooh, this is going to take me just a second. Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> I have to do the calculations. The Nishling gods have decreed that he is going to have... Uh, oh, boy. Okay. So, hang on one second, guys. Sorry, I have to do the math to get through which traits we do. But in the future, I hope to actually make a random generator with all of the available genes that you guys can use if you want to do this challenge too, because I love it. This has really breathed life back into the challenges for me. And I'm really hoping that if you enjoy the random genes challenge and like the blind genes stuff, which I very much do because I have played niche for well over almost 200 hours now. <laughs> and then you can, you can do it too. So I'm setting up a website and hopefully I'll be able to have random generators for all sorts of series up there as a result. Anyway, pass that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then let's see. Uh, okay. One, two, let's see. Hang on. Sorry. I had to do math and trying to talk at the same time. So pattern density um, medium is what the Nishlin gods have determined for Zachi, which is not very exciting either way, but it still works. And then for Chris here, what does she have? I kind of want her to pass on claw to be completely honest. I think claw would be really important. So let's go ahead. I'm going to give her claw. Uh, does she have like good eyesight? No, she does not. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to give her normal eyesight. So that'll be my gift to her. And the Nishling gods up above have declared as they sit in their spot and sort through all of the genes that they could possibly pass on to this little one that she is actually going to have do, 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 moss brown fur. Really? I think we have some of the more grass-based nichelings floating overhead, uh, dictating which of the different traits these guys will get. Because that, that sounds like nichelings who are like, I don't want to be in the water anymore. Sears of the Sea, you've had your turn. <laughs> but I do want to be in the water because this is, this is a lot of fun. And that kind of is like one of the most important things that you could do is just have a ton of fun with it. All right. Well, let's see how far Zachi will go. He's super restless. Hello, beautiful. If you had better traits, maybe, but I think Zachi would glance glance that nicheling over, roll his eyes, and uh, say that Chris, come on, Chris, let's go. Uh, not very interested. There we go. <gasps> no, Chris, that was a rogue. I thought it was one of our cousins. Oh my gosh. That's not going to go over well. That is going to make like, oh my gosh. I think Vanku is going to be allowed to stay in the tribe. I literally thought that was one of our cousins. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I do not have time for this. I think that Zachi as a restless, um, as a restless male is going to be 
furious right now and demand like okay now that he's away from the beach i don't think that our web-footed nichelings can go any further but i think that chris is going to be in some degree of shock uh i'll go ahead and just let her have her baby right here and we'll have to see how that goes but i cannot believe we ended up with a rogue and he's a little baby boy oh my goodness and i think i just drowned him <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't mean to. But we're going to say that Chris just like went into shock and had her baby all of a sudden. Um, and let's see. Vanku, we're going to send him over to try to like listen to his very, very controlling and demanding older brother. And I think that Zachi just angrily eats worms. He's just like splash, 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 splash worms uh, trying to cope with all of this. And I think that Chris, that definitely startled her. You know what? Um, and Vanku's kind of closer right now, so... Oh, it didn't work. Alright, so Chris is just trying to, to rely on the strength. She's like, never mind. I'll take the nichelings that are around me. And I am drowning the baby by accident. I'm sorry for that little guy. Oh dear me. And now there's finally a bird overhead, and there hasn't been one for so long. So, let's see. What are we gonna do? Little baby dude... You're going to be released as soon as you're old enough, but I think that Zachi will be quite quite upset that all of this has happened. Chris is going to basically throw herself... <gasps> okay, that wasn't 100% intentional. I forgot. I was so caught up in it. Oh my gosh. Zachi, you are the most ruthless leader I have ever had. He's just like, forget that rogue child. And I think that Chris would have been slightly traumatized on all, all accounts. So she kind of does want to forget the rogue child. But my gracious, that is, that is so much more than I have ever had in terms of aggression. We accidentally fed a baby to the bird and I'm, I'm kind of thinking that Zachi did it on purpose to abandon the baby. He's very reckless and he's very restless. So let's keep moving. He would probably want to see his own child born. Uh, and they're still pretty young. So we're going to have Chris keep moving. Who got the leech? This guy got the leech. Yeah, we're going to have them all keep moving. Come on. Can you can you dig over here? Okay, you have to be next to the spot if you want to dig. We'll let Chris free him from the leech. There's lots of good dig spots over here. Um, and Vanku is kind of like scouting out up ahead. Is there anything nearby? I heard the sound of one of our nearby neighbor nichelings passing away. This, by the way, is the port that we get to go through next time we get to go through a port. But we're kind of low on stuff right now, so I'm not really, not really over eager in the mood for that. I'm going to let Zachi angrily eat some worms again. I just feel like that's his thing when he's feeling, like, harassed and stressed. And let's have Vanku. I mean, there's tons of worms over here, too. And Vanku is actually going to start exploring up the waterway, which is something I have wanted to do for quite a while. All right, and we'll get Chris a little bit closer to the waterfall. I think this looks like a good reprieve area to kind of get away from all of the chaos of what's going on. And there's tons of worms, which will make Zachi happy. And Chris is going to make her nest right here and hopefully find something good out of it. Let's see. And then we're going to have... Vanku start exploring the lake, which is something I have wanted to do for a while. All right, Chris, have many babies for us, please. Oh, no, that's a boy. <laughs> Chris, help. No, Chris, it's a sickly baby boy. Oh, no, Vanku. What am I going to do? They're too closely related. Oh, no, Vanku, get down here. Uh, Vanku, okay, I've got to protect the baby. His name is Kirkir. -Kir. He does not have water body. No. I need water body, Chris. Think water body thoughts. We'll have Vanku come over and he's kind of like enchanted with the little guy and doesn't know that he's sickly. And we're going to have Chris go ahead and have her third baby. I think she's still kind of like, whoa, what's happening? Uh, let's see. And can't sniff out any, any of the other things over here. Let's see. Oh, and then did I give Vanku his traits? I did not. So let's hopefully he'll pass on water body. What if he doesn't pass on water body? Can I at least get gills going? I really would prefer to have gills uh, and really fun colors if anything else. And then let's see his other trait as decreed by the Nishling gods is actually going to be, give me just a second to find it. Okay. So his other trait is actually going to be, let's see, third and then, okay, stripes. Great. I already had stripes on these guys, but that's okay, I guess. All right, sickly? Oh, good. 
Vanku's a good matchup. All right, so we have new new Duke, who unfortunately is also not water bodied. Is this the end of my water body line? No, I really love having water body nichelings. But Kier Kier is a sickly nicheling with toxic things can actually eat from this berry bush, which we actually need food, so that's a good thing. Um, all right, so we had another boy, Nunu Duke who is a land-based creature and short-sighted. Um, and then we have Zachi again. So let's have Zachi come over. We'll have to release one of the babies soon. But I think that Chris is beginning to find a little bit of peace and calm in her role as kind of like a mother to the whole tribe. And we'll have Vanku do some exploring up here. And meanwhile, I think Zachi would just be like, where are the worms? <laughs> Wanting to eat some more worms. All right, so... Let's see, and Kier Kier, he's actually pretty useful because he can eat those toxic berries and we don't really have any other food sources at the moment. And then, oh, there's some koi fish. There's a whole bunch of koi fish swimming in this lake. If only we had more fishing ability. And then Nunu Duke here will have to release as soon as he's old enough. He truly, other than the webbed hind legs, is a creature made for wandering around in circles on the land. I'm beginning to worry that we're about to lose our ability to have, like, water-based nichelings, which would be such a pity. Hold still, you very fast koi fish! I think that, look at all these koi fish we have spooked from popping over and looking at this lake. This is so cool. Alright, next up... Alright, I kind of want to keep Kier Kier. I probably shouldn't. I kind of want to keep him, just because he might be really useful. We have some beautiful purple eyes going on here. Getting super nervous, and I know a lot of you guys are like, Sarah, your triumph isn't going to do well if you, if you, like, get rid of all of your nichelings. But that's also part of the fun of the challenge, guys, is being able to release my nichelings and try to survive. And I really love a good challenge. Alright, we'll go ahead and kind of explore that spot. I think that Zachi is beginning to grow irritated and believe that there are no, there's no food to be found over here. He's restless. He wants to move on. His brother at least has found a lake to look through. We're kind of chewing through his life pretty quickly. Another, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I think Chris, as our only female in the tribe and a slight coward, is going to do something terrible. And she's gonna run for it. Oh, this is so tragic. Oh my gosh. No! No! Run, Chris! This is horrible all around. There is no degree that this is not horrible. I think Kier Kier would jump up to try to defend his brother. We're gonna jump over here. Vanku, get Chris pregnant. Zachi is going to... What is Zachi? He, he's not a fighter. He doesn't have... He can't even get a koi fish. He's restless and angry and reckless. And so he would just like run for it. <gasps> There's a baby Marina! Oh my gosh. This is the kind of drama you live for. Oh my goodness gracious. I need that baby Marina. Oh my gosh. Okay, we poisoned the mom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we poisoned the mom. Let's do this. Vanku, launching the attacks. Rogue male, get away, catch up. It looks just like one of the condiment rogues. All right, Zachi actually threw himself into this for once. Uh, we have Nunu Duke coming here. No, Nunu Duke, you can't do this. And we're going to go ahead and Chris, with only two days left to live, <laughs> I know the kindness of her heart is going to offer that friendly baby Marina some food and we are about to end up on an epic journey searching desperately for females. Also, I forgot the bird is overhead. This is the kind of drama I live for for these things. No, and I forgot that Kier Kier is right next to us and he is sickly. <gasps> no! No! Oh no! <gasps> oh! My gosh. Oh my gosh. Is this the end of the whims? Oh my gosh. Find a female. I don't care what she looks like. I don't care what she's got going for her. Kulu is about to pass away. We have a baby Barina. Cool. Find a female. Right now. Is this a female? Welcome. Welcome, savior of our tribe. 
<laughs> Welcome the most beautiful creature I have seen. <laughs> Join. Oh my gosh. Join and 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 can you not You're a male! <laughs> I was so agitated I didn't even notice that it's a male. <laughs> Help me find a female. Help me find a female. Go forward and find me a female. Oh my goodness gracious. Female. Female. Oh my gosh. Guys, what are we going to do? I'm down to two sickly nichelings, an elder spike, and Zachi. What is going to happen to our whims? Zachi was right. I think the only thing he can think right now is this is why he should have just had a harem. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. We have a mess. We have a mess. And maybe, maybe the horrific, unwanted end of the Whims legacy. And I don't want that. I wanted the Whims to go on and on and on and on and on forever. If they all die, I, I don't know what to do. Like, maybe start a second line? Because I think this particular type of challenge is just so much fun. And after we do the extreme challenge and roll in to like the new wings and birds of paradise challenge with the update, it will be looking at genes again. And I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. The whims, the second generation. I should I shouldn't I shouldn't be thinking about that yet. There is still hope and we will find hope next time. So I will see you guys then. Bye bye.